The Antonov N-225 was a strategic airlift cargo aircraft designed and produced by the Antonov Design Bureau and the Soviet Union. It was originally developed during the 1980s as an enlarged derivative of the Antonov N-124 airlifter for the express purpose of transporting Buran-class orbiters. With a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons, the Antonov held several records, including heaviest aircraft ever built and largest wingspan of any aircraft in operational service. It was commonly used to transport objects once thought impossible to move by air, such as 130-ton generators, wind turbine blades, and diesel locomotives. Additionally, both Chinese and Russian officials had announced separate plans to adapt the N-225 for use in their respective space programs. The Maria routinely attracted a high degree of public interest, attaining a global following due to its size and its uniqueness. Join our growing community of aviation fans and be the first to know about new videos and exciting updates. Whether you're a seasoned pilot or just a curious observer, our channel is the perfect destination for anyone who loves everything about aviation. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and take off with us on a journey of discovery and excitement. Development Work on what would become the Antonov N-225 would begin in 1984 with a request from the Soviet government. As originally set out, the mission and objectives were broadly identical to that of the United States shuttle carrier aircraft. Having been designed to airlift the Energia rockets boosters and the Buran-class orbiters for the Soviet space program. Furthermore, a relatively short timetable for the delivery of the completed aircraft meant that development would have to proceed at a rapid pace. On December 21, 1988, the N-225 performed its maiden flight. Only a single example was ever completed, although a second airframe with a slightly different configuration was partially built. After a brief period of use supporting the Soviet space program, the aircraft was mothballed during the early 1990s. Towards the turn of the century, it was decided to refurbish the N-225 and reintroduce it for commercial operations, carrying oversized payloads for the operator Antonov Airlines. Multiple announcements were made regarding the potential completion of the second airframe. However, its construction has largely remained on hold due to a lack of funding. Design it has a longer fuselage and cargo deck due to the addition of fuselage barrel extensions that were fitted both fore and aft of the wings. The wings, which are anhedral, also received root extensions to increase their span. The flight control surfaces are controlled via fly-by-wire and powered by triple-redundant hydraulics. Furthermore, the empennage of the N-225 is a twin tail with an oversized, swept-back horizontal stabilizer having been redesigned from the single vertical stabilizer of the N-124. The use of a twin-tail arrangement was essential to enable the aircraft to carry its bulky external loads that would generate wake turbulence, disturbing the airflow around a conventional tail. Antonov does not have a rear cargo door or ramp, as are present on the N-124, these features having been eliminated in order to save weight. The cargo hold was 46,000 cubic feet in volume, 21 feet wide, 14 feet high, and 142 feet 3 inches long, longer than the first flight of the right flyer. The cargo hold, which is pressurized and furnished with extensive soundproofing, could contain up to 80 standard dimension cars, 16 intermodal containers, or up to 551,150 pounds of general cargo. Buran Soviet Union was in a race with the United States to reach new heights in space exploration, and the Buran program was a crucial component of this effort. The Buran shuttle was much larger and heavier than its American counterpart, the Space Shuttle, and required a specialized aircraft to transport it to the launch site. This is where the N-225 came in. The Antonov's fuselage was specially strengthened and widened to accommodate the massive Buran shuttle, and its powerful engines gave it the ability to lift the heavy payload with ease. On its first flight, the N-225 successfully carried the Buran shuttle on its back, demonstrating its incredible strength and versatility. For years, the N-225 remained the only aircraft in the world capable of carrying such a massive payload, and it quickly became a symbol of Soviet engineering prowess. Destruction The aircraft's last commercial mission was from 2 to 5 of February, 2022, to collect almost 90 tons of COVID-19 test kits from China and deliver them to Denmark. From there, it returned on February 5 to its base at Antonov Airport in Hostomel, where it underwent an engine swap. 
On the advice of NATO it was prepared for evacuation, scheduled for the morning of February 24th, but on that day Russia invaded, with the airfield being one of their first targets. A ban on civilian flights was quickly enacted by Ukrainian authorities. During the ensuing battle of Antonov Airport, the runway was rendered unusable. On February 27th, a press release stated that the N-225 had been destroyed by Russian forces. The Flying Colossal Overall, the Antonov N-225 was an incredible aircraft that has pushed the boundaries of what is possible in the world of aviation. Its unique design and massive size make it one of the most interesting and impressive aircraft in the world, and its role in the transportation of the Buran Space Shuttle only adds to its legend. Its story is a testament to the incredible power of human ingenuity and the limitless potential of aerospace engineering. The N-225 Maria will always be remembered as one of the most impressive and innovative aircraft in the history of aviation. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new about aviation. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all our latest videos. We have a lot of exciting content planned and we can't wait to share it with you.